This is Cameron Chai from azom.com and I'm speaking to Barry Bumer who's the Vice President of Marketing Sales at X-Ray Optical Systems and he's going to, exp he's going to demonstrate and show us what, what it is that they make. All right, thank you. Actually, um, as the name implies, X-Ray Optical Systems, um, among other things, makes X-Ray Optics. And um, one of the uh, X-Ray Optics uh, that we're showing here at this show is what we refer to as a polycapillary optic. And polycapillary optics uh, allow uh, X-Ray analyzers to analyze much smaller features uh, with much better sensitivity uh, than uh, systems that would not use a polycapillary optic at all. So we essentially get the best of both worlds. We get a uh, better analysis uh, as well as an analysis in a smaller area and the user can use uh, a smaller x-ray tube when applying an x-ray optic like this. Now, these, these kind of optics will find their way in um, X-ray fluorescence systems, and X-ray fluorescence systems are uh, systems that do material analysis, elemental analysis specifically, uh, and there are different types of XRF systems like wavelength dispersive or energy dispersive XRF systems. Uh, as well as uh, these, these type of optics are also used in X-ray diffraction uh, uh, instruments uh, for crystalline structure determination. Now, these X-ray optics are used in combination with an X-ray tube, and uh, at times the customer will provide the tube themselves, or we can integrate the X-ray tube to the optic for the customer. And in that case, uh, the product looks something like this. Uh, this is what we refer to as a X-beam, and the X-beam has the X-ray optic uh, right up front here, and it's integrated with an X-ray tube. The X-ray tube, of course, generates the X-rays, and typically, uh, this is a low-power X-ray tube, let's say a 50-watt or a 100-watt type of tube. So this entire system, which includes a filter module and a shutter module, would be used uh, for, for instance, an excitation system in an XRF system or uh, as an excitation system in a diffraction system. So uh, these, uh, these systems are quite small and in order to get the same kind of analytical performance uh, from uh, an alternative approach, it would take a much larger X-ray source. But the optics allow the entire package to be smaller, uh, more compact, easier to integrate, and even uh, results in, uh, in higher X-ray intensity and ultimately a better quality of the analysis. Uh, this, is a, uh, this is a similar type, but in this particular case we do not use a polycapillary optic, but we use a doubly curved crystal optic. Doubly curved crystal optic is a monochromator and it allows the user to have a very narrow band uh, of uh, nar very narrow energy band uh, for uh, for uh, the uh, excitation of of the sample. Uh, so you have uh, you have the benefit of very low background uh, combined with a very uh, narrow energy band. With the polycapillary optic, this is a broad energy spectrum type of optic. Uh, let's say about 25 keV or so is the uh, is the energy range there. Both systems are used both for diffraction as well as for X-ray fluorescence applications. Now, these are the products that we uh, that we offer for uh, integration into other X-ray uh, uh, instruments. We also make our own analytical instruments, and those instruments are more application-specific instruments, particularly, let's say, for the petroleum industry or for consumer applications but we do not display them at, at this particular venue uh, right here.